good morning welcome to a little vlog so i have spontaneously decided today to go to my pal jade's house and you'll know jade if you followed me right from uni i live with jade in third year she's been my best friend since first year um and she used to be the star of the show she used to be in my vlogs a lot and yeah today we've randomly decided that i'm gonna go and see her really last minute we literally decided it this morning so i thought it'd be quite fun to vlog i'm not really sure sure lower just putting my shoes on by the way i'm not really sure whether i'll make it a weekly vlog or just a little daily vlog or whatever but yeah i thought it'd be nice to kind of throw it back and go old school daily vlog style so yeah i'm gonna drive to lincoln it's about an hour drive so it's not just popping around corners to see your friend but Jaddles is worth it and I miss her so we're gonna go and have a little day together she's got Annie the dog with her we've already decided we're gonna go McDonald's so it's a proper throwback Lincoln Jaddles vlog and I'm very excited so those of you OGs out there hopefully you're excited too um I've got everything I think I need my sunglasses because I don't know if you can tell but it's very sunny the winter sun is very intense right now we're going to drive to Lincoln I'm going to listen to Shagged Married Annoyed the podcast they've got a new one out I've caught up I spent weeks binging <laughs> all their um audio not audio all their podcasts because I started when they'd kind of already got about 38 I think um and I finally caught up so now I have to wait to every Friday for a new one to come out so yeah, I'm gonna listen to that and I will see you when I'm in Lincoln. Hello, I made it. So that was a complicated drive. My sat nav um, confused me. And I swear every time I drive to, Jade, drive to Jade's house, it sends me a different way. Um, so that was one thing. My dash cam kept falling off my blooming window. It fell off at least four times. So I had to pull up. Like a couple of times I stuck it back up whilst I was driving. And then I pulled up and I was like, this is not not the one it's on for now so we'll see how long that lasts and then the red arrows drew over drew flew over me so i was like woohoo so i pulled over and watched the red arrows but i can see jade right now and we're gonna go and have cuddles and have a good good time i'm excited to see her what lads <laughs> Some people won't know who you are. Oh yeah, some people won't know who I am. I'll do a professional intro. <laughs> if I can make it, <laughs> make it focus. Hi everyone. <laughs> no, no. Hi everyone, I'm Alice's friend. Oh, there's a pheasant. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Alice's friend. <laughs> all right, kids. None of you know who I am anymore because you're all too cool for school. But I'm Alice's OG friend. Ooh. OG. OG, <laughs> we're going for Mackies. Yay. Mac! I don't remember the last time I had a Mackie. Donald! You trying to zoom in? Yeah. <laughs> it's so weird vlogging. I feel like I've gone back two years. Yeah. Being back in Lincoln, vlogging with you. Me! Yeah! Look like Farmer Joe. Right Farmer now. Jade. So I've got, me, I've got my farm ready boots on. I knew that we'd end up walking down the field. Um, Jade's got horses and all the puppers. Three doggos. <gasps> Is there a kitty? Oh my god. That's pussy. Oh, and she's got two cats. So we're gonna go and see see the see the kiddies because I've not met them yet. Um but yeah, we're just walking down the field. Many a good time and mems in this field. Let me know if you remember when I rode the bigger of the horses, Maisie. Thought I was gonna die. But you made me ride the horse, didn't you? I did yeah. <laughs> I quite enjoyed it actually. Oh he's there. Yes, good boy. Oh good. Boy! Hello, uh. babes! He loves you. They do love me. That's because I rescued them out of the bin. I don't bite them. I always bite. Are you shy? Yeah, she is the shy. Are it? you shy? It's because there's new She's person. She's lost her as well. Hi! Oh, that was, that was like going from shy to, I love you. <laughs> You've been rolling in the mud. Like, have you got any food for me? I don't have food. Not, why not? You don't love me unless I've got food, I understand. <laughs> Hello friends, it has been a few days um, since that little clip with me and Jade. I actually spent pretty much all day at Jade's house. I got back at 9pm um, and it was very much needed. So I thought I'd just quickly explain life updates. Um, so... <laughs> 
I've just done this on Instagram and I got upset then so I'm probably gonna get upset again but just wanted to let you know that I am now single um I know I've never really shared my boyfriend on this channel because my private life was my private life um and I've learned from previous relationships um but I thought you deserved to know um and also I feel like I can't fully move on without kind of updating everyone um some of you probably don't even care but it's important to me so I figured that I'll do it anyway um so yeah we've broken up um there's literally no drama we've not fallen out we haven't had a massive argument no one's cheated on each other we just kind of lost the spark and we've been trying for months to sort of reignite it and figure things out um and a couple of weeks ago I think we were both very honest with each other had difficult conversations and then on Tuesday um we made this decision to part ways before things get toxic and before we start hating each other and before it just goes really sour which in a way I think is even harder because nothing has gone wrong but nothing was going majorly right you know I feel like sometimes it'd be easier if one of us had cheered on the other one because then there's a solid reason but we were clinging on to the hope that we could bring things back and it just wasn't going to happen so basically I'm now a single gal um my head knows it's a good decision but my heart's still a bit sore because <laughs> it only happened two days ago and I've been going through a lot this past month so yeah I figured I'm just going to tell everyone so that we've both got the chance to move on I feel like I can't get any work done because my head's all over the place and I can't keep giving crappy excuses as to why I'm not doing as good as I probably should do online with my job and stuff so just want to put the reason out there let you know now that that's the reason I've been a bit AWOL you probably haven't even noticed but it helps my head and my healing process to know that you know so I'm not keeping anything from you and yeah so that's that <laughs> it's been a tricky couple of weeks um and that's the reason i went to jade spontaneously it was actually so nice to see everyone so jade randomly invited the old like uni house so i lived with a bunch of boys and jade basically in third year and they were like my best pals and we were all like a little team together and i went to jade spontaneously on monday morning and she actually invited the boys round to be like the breakup cavalry so we all had chats i've spoken to literally everyone in my life that i can think of asking them what on earth to do and that was the best conclusion to come to obviously i spoke to ethan too so yeah um not forgetting about that relationship i'm learning things from it i've learned a lot from it um i'm very happy it happened but i guess it's just time to close that chapter but in other news um amongst this life drama amongst other life drama which i won't be talking about i've released new products on my shop so <laughs> if you want to support me slash if you're feeling sorry for me no i'm kidding um i have new soul and fire products and i spent a uh, tuesday in between having the foggiest brain in the world because i'd not yet had the conversation um i actually packed up some orders so my face isn't in it because i was a mess still i'm a bit of a mess story of my life but here are some clips of me packed in the first Soul and Fire orders. So me and my very stressed skin 
are gonna take a deep breath and try and make the best of the day tonight i have kickboxing i've actually recently started going kickboxing i sort of first went to a class at the beginning of january um and i actually really really like it you might know that i did kickboxing martial arts style things a couple of years ago but i kind of stopped doing that for various reasons so i've i've realized i've been missing it so i'm doing it again so i'm gonna go there tonight get my sweat on honestly it's so intense i'm so unfit my brain thinks i'm still as active and as fit as i was 18 months ago when i quit but i am not um so i'm doing that later which i'm glad about because it gets me moving gets me out of the house and I'm thinking I'm probably going to go and get myself a Taco Bell because I have such a guilty pleasure for Taco Bell. It's a recent like discovery of mine, but I love it so much and it brings me so much happiness. So if I can buy food that makes me happy, I'm going to do that. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. And uh, I've got a commission to do and some bits and bobs. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get this vlog sort of moving again and up for you guys so we're all in the loop and we can smile and get through it all together it's happening that taco bell went down an absolute treat i actually wanted to mention a new little find of mine to you and this is how i paid for my taco bell so i have recently been very kindly gifted the service of this new little card so it's called curve and this card is actually metal so it's well heavy and hefty obviously i'm not going to turn it around because my details are on there but um this bank card allows me to choose which account i pay from so i have a <laughs> i'm going to do this without showing you my bank details but as you can see, these are my three cards. I have a Monzo card, I have a Halifax credit card, and I have a Halifax debit card. Wow, we love it when my camera focuses. But yeah, I have three cards. I got the Monzo card for my personal finances. I have the Halifax debit card for my business finances. And then I have the credit card because apparently you need a credit card to get a good credit score, which seems really backwards to me. Um, so I pay for my petrol on the credit card just to get a good credit score but we're not going to go into that so yeah i have three cards and for years i only ever had one and i loved that because i thought it was less complicated i didn't have to like dig around in my purse to try and find the right one but then i was approached by curve and curve is um a card that comes with an app and on the app you can put on there um your cards so i'll quickly go on the app i'll blur anything that obviously is personal so yeah on the app i'll put it on screen for you i have my different cards so it's got my halifax debit card and it tells me what i've spent this month you can see in the taco bell um i have my monzo card and then i have my credit card and i just think it's so good so just before i'm about to tap and scan like contactless for this i can click which card i want to pay from tap this and then it automatically takes out my other card i don't know i just thought it was really really good um you also get a cashback card you can choose like your top five retailers i think and then you get cash back there's loads of different perks for this um i've been trying it out now for like two months before i told you guys about it they're not paying me for this mention however they have gifted me the card itself because this card is the highest rate one like the one that comes with the most rewards and it comes with travel insurance and a bunch of different things i'll leave a link in the description with the information but they have like three tiers there's a free version and then there's one that's like less than 15 pound a month i can't remember how much um but basically i have a link if you would like to try this out you can try the free version out you can try the paid version out completely up to you you can read a little bit more about it but if you use my link you'll get five pounds when you sign up and i also get five pounds too so it's a win-win situation so yeah i thought i'd just quickly tell you about curve very happy with that i'll leave the link in the description but i don't really know what to do for the rest of the day to be honest because i my brain's obviously all muddled so i don't really know i can't really concentrate on much at the moment um so maybe i will brainstorm some ideas for my new website so i obviously have my soul and fire website and then i have my alice thorpe website i sort of want to give the alice thorpe one a bit of a refresh and just kind of re rejig it a little bit it's been like that ever since i opened it 
and I feel like it's going in a bit of a different direction to what I initially planned so I thought we could change it. Hello. Mum's just interrupted because she wants me to help her flip the mattress over. Okay, this is what happens when you work from home. You try and get your job done and then there's just things. <laughs> or people that happen. <sighs> Let's do that first then, shall we? Okie doke. So, a couple of hours have passed and I've actually found some motivation to do some work, which is good. My camera is not opening properly. So, what I'm doing currently, I'm just in Photoshop and I'm making a picture image thing to use on my website. So, I was having some troubles with like discount codes and offering multiple discount codes at once so I think I've come up with a solution um basically what I'm going to do is create another product on my website um where you can sort of add in the three greeting cards that you want it's very hard to explain <laughs> basically I'm offering a promotion thing where you get three cards for seven pounds and when you add three cards into the shopping cart it automatically knocks off um the price so it gets it to seven however you can't combine um that deal with any other discounts so for example i emailed out a bunch of 10 percent discounts to anyone that signed up early or anyone who signs up now you'll get a 10 percent discount so people weren't being weren't able to combine them which was very frustrating and i was trying to work out a solution i use shopify for my online website and i've done research and this still stands to be apparently the best site for this stuff like it's supposed to be the best e-commerce site however it doesn't doesn't have this feature which is very annoying the only way to get the feature is to download an additional app like you can add apps to shopify to like improve its service <laughs> i don't know um but all of the apps are like 40 pound a month so if i wanted to fix it on top of my existing monthly fee that I have to pay to own a shop, it'd add another £40 a month on. That's a lot. That's like £480 a year. Wow, that was quick maths for me. Which I'm not willing to pay because I don't definitely make that much. Like, I don't make a great deal of money on my shop just yet. Hopefully in the future I will. But at the minute it's like a little bit of a side hustle. So committing to that much money a month just for that doesn't seem to make sense to me. So my solution is to sort of do it by hand, which is very annoying. It's going to add more work for me. But if it means that I can offer like double discounts for people in the long run, I hopefully it will be worth it because it might encourage people to shop with me a little bit more. That's the idea. So, yeah, I'm just kind of creating this new product and we'll see how it works um but it's a long process this whole website owner shop owner business stuff is complicated so i'm figuring it out each day uh but like i said earlier if you want to have a look at my website please do um and if you want 10 percent off just sign up to the email thing and you'll get an email straight away with a discount code and hopefully now the discount code will work i have just received an order from someone called Alex and they have ordered literally all of the new things which is exciting so they've ordered all six greeting cards and also the pin and I have the new stickers to stick on the greeting cards annoyingly when I sent the first batch of cards out the stickers hadn't arrived and then I'm not joking as soon as I walked back in my front door after going to the post office the stickers arrived typical um <laughs> but yeah, I have the stickers now and they look so cool, or at least I think they do. Hopefully you agree. Wow, my focus is honestly so impressive. I'm so glad I spent so much on this camera. There we go. So yeah, we have these little stickers, which I absolutely love. So what I'm going to do, I've just checked and it peels off fine. I've had this on overnight to make sure that they weren't too sticky. But we have 
six greeting cards so in here is my stock drawer this needs organizing better because i made like a little diy storage with some cardboard divider things and when i first did it they were all stood up really neatly like this but it's since broken so i'm gonna get my dad to make me something that will hold them up better um and then at the minute i've just got the stickers on top but i've got these new little compliment slip things so i'm gonna get one of these out um, with a little note on the back we need a pin and we need each of the cards so let's get one of each out then in the packaging drawer i need a little bit of tissue paper and what else do i need one of these and an envelope i actually might use one of these envelopes because i have them left over from when i bought them ages ago um so i'll just use this for this time i feel like although this isn't recyclable i'd rather use it than it be in my drawer for no reason and then um obviously in future i'll just stick to the recycled ones although it does say on the back paper from responsible sources so it's responsibly sourced I'm going to use some bits of card that I also have to make sure that this doesn't get bent in the poem. morning so i'm barefaced and stressed once again but um yeah this vlog's gonna be a random array of different days but i feel like i'm going back to my roots that's how my vlogs always were but yeah i just got up and i've just chucked on some gym gear probably not gonna go to the gym actually i've cancelled my gym membership um it's not completely cancelled yet because you have to do like a month's notice but because i've started kickboxing i cancelled the gym so yeah kickboxing last night was actually good i we did like stretching at the end like assisted stretching and i have never done that in my life I used to dance, I danced from the age of like 7 to 19 and we never did assisted stretching, like we obviously stretched after and before class but oh my god I was having someone like pushing my legs into the splits, I'm not very flexible but I've got a, a bad like old injury on one of my legs and I've definitely pulled something that shouldn't have been pulled so that was good but I mean it was a really good class anyway and everyone's so nice i'm kind of finding my feet there because i think i've done like maybe six classes there now and i was terrified at the beginning so yeah it's really nice and i feel so buzzing when i get back so if you are thinking of starting an exercise class but you're scared go for it because it feels great once you've done it um i woke up to a delivery this morning i had a really bad night's sleep but i got a delivery and i've set it all out i've just taken an instagram so i thought i'd show you guys whilst whilst i'm here of course my battery is flashing now but yeah i've got a delivery from glossy box so the lovely people at glossy box gift me a box every single month and it's always my favorite delivery of the month they're always so gorgeous this one is the valentine's day february box and how beautiful is this i actually have a discount code as well so with the discount code alice t20 you'll get 20 percent off your first box and you get a selection of kind of recommended beauty products we've got a lip mask we've got a um, brush we've got two lip liners which makes me very excited because i don't even own lip liners i threw all mine out because they went a bit gross some lip gloss and then this hydrating sort of serum stuff and obviously it's all pink themed for valentine's day so yeah that very much made my day this morning i'm also going to keep this ribbon 
because it says love crosses borders on it it's so cute i'm gonna recycle that so yeah thank you glossy box i'll leave a link to the to this box in the description if you want to go and check them out and obviously you'll get 20 percent off with my code they're not paying me to say this they just gift me it and i feel like it deserves a mention because i do genuinely love this stuff okay commute to work that is my bedroom this is my office such a long commute so my hair is crazy i'm washing my hair later today it's very much overdue a wash i had an order yesterday to go to the united states it's going to america i'm so excited i can't really remember where in america it was but the lovely lady was trying to order something um, my website was glitching so she'd emailed me and said that she watches my videos and she loved what i do and really wanted to support me and I so appreciated that because I feel like a lot of people might have just seen that the website wasn't working properly and it wasn't letting her ship the products to us to America but she like persevered and messaged me which I really really appreciate because obviously now if there's any of you guys watching who also live in America we now know it works um it was a stupid glitch it was a mistake on my part but I'm glad I got there and fixed it so yeah I'm gonna package that order this morning um she's ordered a desk planner a bunch of cards and a pin i think so it's quite a big order and then i'll take that to the post office so very excited and i also have this one that i packaged up yesterday because i've missed the postman's delivery deadline thing so i'm gonna take that today <laughs> Madness. All right, what is this lighting? There we go. Um, a fair few hours has passed. I got back from the post office ages ago. It's like quarter past five in the evening now. And to be honest, I've had a very unproductive day. As much as these vlogs probably look like I've got lots to do and have done lots, I've barely done anything. And that's been a bit of a common theme these past few weeks. I think along with live crises, I've just not been feeling motivated and it doesn't really help that January seems to have like 175 days but as I'm filming this it is the 31st of January so hopefully um even though obviously time's a social construct hopefully the new month will bring new motivation so yeah I'm gonna end the vlog here because I'm not really doing much uh tomorrow i'm going out on a little mini shoot day with my mum slash a date day we want to get some photos for my instagram because i've been slacking on that too um but yeah I, I need to try and motivate myself so if you got to the end of the video let me know how you stay motivated um i get asked this question a lot and i really don't have an answer <laughs> i don't know sometimes i just wake up and i want to do loads and then for the past two weeks i've woken up and i just wanted to stay in bed but hopefully it's going up from here um thanks for watching this video thanks for sticking it out sorry it's not been the most exciting and kind of started with a bit of a downer but i'm i'm ready to move on and i'm excited to create new things for you guys and make this year a good one so yeah thanks for everything thanks for supporting me and i'll see you soon for another vlog bye <laughs>